Hey, what's up everybody? Bauer Brown back with you. And in this video, we're going to be going over the texture paint tool. Okay. Um, so to get into that mode, you want to go up to where this little red pencil is up here. And if you hover over it, it says terrain detail texture paint mode. That was the exact mode that we're going to be going over today. So, and to dumb it down for you, we're going to be painting is what we're going to be doing. Yay, right? <laughs> painting. It's actually just, you know, this brings brings a little bit of life to your map. Get some color in there and get, get some good things going on, right? Um, <clears throat> so, okay. So, once we click on that pencil, we are in paint mode. And as I said in earlier videos, everything is done through your attributes panel, wherever that happens to be. By now, you know where it's at. If it's on left-hand side, right-hand side, if for some reason it's not showing at all, just go up to Window, and then you can pick Attributes from that drop-down list, and it will pop up somewhere for you. Okay, so once your Attributes is open, um, we don't have a whole lot to go over in this one, so it's going to be really quick. We're going to go into Texture Layer Painting on the Attributes panel right here. Now we have the Slope Limit Start and End. Um, for now, you always want to keep those at 0 and 90, or you're going to have some problems painting. Um, and I'm going to explain why why that is in just a few minutes. Um, then the texture layer, you have divided up here, right, in between. Um, these, these are all your textures that you're going to be painting. Now, you'll notice that some of them are capitalized and some of them are not. Um, the, the simplest way to explain this is that each one of these capitalized textures, you can think of like a finished product, right? Because what happens is for each one of these capitalized ones, you see where the lowercase ones, it takes four of these. In most cases, it takes four textures to make a single finished texture. So it takes four lowercase, see the animal mode, one, two, three, and four. And put together, that makes the finished product of animal mode. Now, you always want to, in most scenarios, stick with your uppercase, right? Because those are the finished ones. And, and that's going to give you the best result. With the lowercase, in some instances, like you can look down here at like Mud01, there is only one texture that makes that up. And I believe somewhere on here there was a... Uh, might not be on this map. There was like a Highway US or something like that. Um, but anyhow, like I said, that my whole point there was in most cases it takes four four textures to make a single, but not every case. Sometimes you'll see just one or two that make up a single texture, right? Okay, so like I said, you can still use Animal Mud, you know, on the lowercase, but it's only giving you a single texture. Now, if I go down to Animal Mud 02, now, you, it might be hard to see, but there is a difference between the two of them. Okay, I'm still on Animal Mud. Okay, Animal Mud 03. Okay, like I said, that sometimes the difference is really subtle, and it's really hard to see. But the difference is there. You know, that's why it takes all, all four of them to make a single texture. So just trust me on that one. Um, if you want to play around with it, you can. Um, but just the one thing to keep in mind is you do want to stick mostly, if you can, with your uh, the uppercase or your finished product. So that's those are the ones you really want to use to paint. Okay, now, one thing I will tell you about painting and that helped me out tremendously is I got myself a tablet. And, uh... Not a tablet like, you know, like your Samsung A10 or a Galaxy or anything like that. It's basically a drawing tablet. Um, now, I got I got a Vike, I think it is. It's V-E-I-K-K. -K, and that basically acts like your mouse. You know, it looks like a little pencil stylus. And it lets you, let you draw, you know, using a pencil more motion instead of a mouse. And I, the difference is night and day. You have much more control. Um, and it's so much, so much easier painting in the long run than it is with just a mouse. But I'll tell you what, I've used a mouse for years with no problem either, so don't be afraid or discouraged if all you have is a mouse because it will work absolutely just fine, right? Um, okay, so with painting, now normally, um, let me think of what I want to see here. Normally when you do your layout and you're putting your placeables and your buildings, your barns, stuff like that, um, ideally you want to keep it somewhat square you know, like 90 degrees to each other. And a lot of times what I'll do is to get the layout of how my paint works, I'll put down a square like that. And then I'll see, you know, my buildings, I'll place squarely around them. This way, when I when I try to make pathways and stuff like that, see, I can make it nice and straight. 
and my building will sit squarely in front of that pathway. Whereas if I had it turned and I had to make a pathway this way, it still works. It's just not as easy. Um, now, I don't stick with that in every instance, but I, yeah, depending on the situation, I try to because it makes life a whole lot easier, you know, painting stuff, you know, this way, you know, compared to, you know, if it was not square, like on a 90 degree angle, okay, or 45 or what have you. <clears throat> okay, now, like I said, with painting, now you know the difference between the uppercase and lowercase between, you know, which one of those you should be using. Uh, the other thing here is limit to texture. Now, this is something that's brand new to this version of the Giants Editor, and it's a really great feature to have. We never had this before, and man, does it work nice. Now, say you have, we want to paint this gravel color or concrete that I have here. Now, say I only want to paint that on the dirt. Now, the options that I have are to come over here and just line this up, right? Click on that. Uh, I might have went a little too far, I'm not sure, or... Oh, now I went too far. Oh, shoot. So now I got to undo it and try to line that up. Okay, there we go. So if I have this whole entire road to do on this field, man, that's going to take me a hot minute, you know? So I don't want to have to do that. So now if I limit the texture, let's pick dirt because I only want to draw on the dirt, all right? And that's, it's limiting the texture to dirt. So now, and I'm going to draw from left to right, right across this roadway. Okay, see what happened there? It only drew on the dirt. And so now, I can cruise right down this road, and I can fill that in super nice, super fast, um, which is great. It's a big, big time saver. And it helps you in when you have, like, like detail work that you need to get done, too. Like, you see down here, um, why is it not erasing for me? Because I have this set on erosion. That's another thing that you're going to notice. Like, I just went to erase the... Uh, the foliage that was down there and it didn't erase and that's because i had one of my mouse buttons remapped to something else to be able to pull this stuff away i need to have that on subtract or else it won't work inevitably these guys are going to come across a situation where you're going to do exactly what i just did you're going to try to er erase foliage or something it's not going to work you're not going to know why and that's why because you had your mouse button remapped to something else it needs to be on subtract Okay, so now down here, I think they used gravel dirt was the texture. Um, now say I want to put animal mud in there, right? So I want to take animal mud. Now trying to fill in this tiny area, you know that that's going to be that's going to be a lot more difficult. You know if I didn't have this replace function, see? Now if I go back, well that's the on dirt. Cooperate. There we go. Okay, so now I could either do the same thing where I can try to fill it in like this. Like so. Okay, and, and you can obviously see that that's going to take a pretty good while to get it done that way. Or I can go back here and limit that to just the gravel dirt. And then when I go over it, that quickly, it's all filled in. See how much of a time saver that was? It's crazy how much time you can save with this. Great, great feature. Really glad that Giants, you know, introduced that to this version of the editor. And you're going to use it lots and lots. Okay. So that's what that does. All right, now let's pick another. Let's see. Let's pick concrete again so you can see what we're getting into here. Now, the other one is slope limit start and slope limit end. And that is if you want to paint on basically like, like certain angles, okay? So 0 to 90 is going to let you paint on anything between 0 and 90 degrees. Now, if for some reason you, you know, you wanted to paint like, uh, and this, this works really well on like larger areas, like, you know, uh, like maybe a mountainside or something like that. Maybe you want to give it like a rocky look or a rocky feel to it. Um, so let's say, let's try to give you an example here. Um, where was I? <clears throat> okay, we're going to go, let's try anything between, let's say... 15 degrees and 90 degrees so now it's going to probably it's going to skip everything on ground level okay so it did it's not painting anything on this ground level but it will paint the side of this for me right so see how i'm doing that now i still have my mouse button pressed in but it's not painting the ground but it will paint that side not the top so that is a super easy way for me to come through now see if i make my brush real big I can paint all the sides of, of my mountain right here. Like, you know, anything between that setting. 
I mean, look how quickly I was able to paint that. Boop. Boop, boop. Okay. And what that did is, like I said, any, any, any uh, slope that was between, <clears throat> between, uh, what did I pick here? Between 15 and 90 degrees. That's what it did. That's, that's how you use that. And it comes in really handy. Um, again, I did use it. I used it for a lot, you know, I used it for mountains and stuff and I'll change this a lot. Like I'll change it to, uh, you have to experiment and I can't stress enough how you guys need to experiment with these values to give you different effects. Right. So I'll change it maybe from say like three degrees to something low, like 10 degrees. And it'll only fill in little teeny tiny areas. Maybe I'll give it like a stone color and then maybe I want to come back with like a rough dirty grass type color. And I change my slope limit just a little bit more and then it fills in those areas and like you see here between 15 and 90 degrees you know it gave me it filled in just the sides for me which you seen how quickly i painted that you know without that you would still be trying to paint that um now you could either dial that in a little bit more because those uh those settings are a little bit off you know maybe 15 degrees wasn't quite right maybe i wanted to go a little bit higher and you know and it would paint it only this wall for me instead of bled over a tiny bit onto the ground because there's a little bit of a slope there and you could either come back and clean that up by hand or you know you can just stick with uh you know dialing in these slope limits a little bit more but that's that's what slope limit does okay and if you change that at all you want to you want to keep in mind that you did change it because now i'm going to try and paint again and here it's not working well why isn't it working because this needs to be on zero Needs to be between 0 and 90. See that? Now, maybe you never ever play with the slope. Okay? And somehow, you inadvertently changed it. You changed it by accident, and you didn't realize it. Check that. That's what's going to keep you from painting, you know? Because either your limit to texture is set to something different, or your slope limit needs to be on 0 and 90 for that to work. All right? So, that's basically it for the texture painting. Like I said, there was not much to it. Um, look into like a drawing tablet like I have here that's like night and day using that thing man I mean it, it's great I mean for this tutorial I'm using my mouse but it's kind of a mixed bag I, I use that thing so much it's incredible and then there's other times I don't use it depends um, but like I said don't feel discouraged because you don't have one maybe you can't afford one a mouse works absolutely fine I've built entire maps that were stunning with just a mouse so like I said, it's something that it does make a difference, and I really prefer it to control alone. You have a lot more control over, you know, working with like a pencil than you do with a mouse. Or maybe, maybe you're the opposite. You know, I, I have a pretty artsy background, so, you know, I'm used to a pencil and drawing and stuff like that. Maybe you're not. Uh, but anyhow, that is my advice to pick, your, pick yourself up a tablet because it does make a, uh, makes a world of difference. And uh, that's it for the terrain painting. Like I said, you know, your slope limit start and end. Hopefully you figured that out. You know what that does. Uh, texture layer, you know, the difference between, you know, the uppercase and lowercase and the different textures that are going on in there. You want to stick with mainly your uppercase because those are your finished textures. Limit to texture. Um, if you want to paint specifically on only one texture, like dirt or grass or something like that. Um, and again, as always, I encourage you to play around with these settings and see what they do and get to know it a little bit better and that's it with that being said i am bauer brown and i will see you on the next one